Welcome back to Base Camp, WNZ. Yesterday I posted a video about a 12K system. So I figured I'd bring you into my little place. I'm gonna answer a bunch of questions. I'm gonna try to get a bunch of them done for everybody. Mr. Uh, Larry up in Northern Vermont that's interested. I want to uh, go over some of this stuff for you and prices. I sent you an email if you would contact me on the email machine. And for Patriots United, if you notice the camera's kind of still, so I did break out the tripod, this one just strictly for you and the microphone. So now if the sound isn't right, it's your fault. But I'm using a tripod today for this thing. What I wanted to show you, of course, this is mine right here. Or this is the one I'm using right now. This is a, this is back to the 6KW system. Uh, went over it before, but it's, um, you can set it for photovoltaic mode, AC priority mode, or intelligent mode, uh, which basically means it picks the highest power and uses it. You have a dry gener uh, generator start that when the uh, batteries go down, uh, if you have generator power, if you're using this as an off-grid system, it'll automatically start the generators when your batteries are down to the charge point. We'll go over how to hook a bunch of this stuff up. But it's uh, from 1 to 6 kW is a 24-volt system, and 6 on up, a 6 to 12 is a 48 volt systems. So the 6KW systems, you can get 24 volt or 48 volt. Uh, the only thing I deal with, I have these things built for me. It takes about two months at the worst right now to get them with all the virus and everybody's going trying to get stuff done. All of these that I deal with are 220 split phase, 60 hertz, machines this is what the u.s power i mean it comes out of the hold i'll show you the disconnects in it but it comes out hooks right into a regular this right here is the 220 fuse box that comes in from my grid to supply ac line i'll go over that in a minute but it's just like you can go to any big box store or anything pick up a few uh breaker box and it fits right into it but these things are built they're all low frequency which means this thing is made for well pumps, induction motors, refrigerators, freezers. Let me see if I can do this here right now. Sitting here on the floor is my great big air compressor. And that thing draws up almost 20 amps to start, runs on 14, runs it, runs table saws, everything just fine. A high frequency inverter are cheaper, but they're mainly made for lights and computers. This is made for induction loads and heavy draw. Everything I get made is 100% copper in that thing. This thing right here is about 68 pounds. The 12KW system that's in that video I just posted yesterday that thing weighs 142 pounds uh, hanging on the wall. Bunch of benefits to it. Um, Mr. Larry and all, I talked about wanting to install it with a little bit of help. Hopefully the light ain't binding. This is my solar panel disconnect. So you have a positive and a negative wire that goes in. You have positive and negative going to your battery bank you have an AC line that comes in that supplies AC power from the grid or from your generator. That's either one of them has come out. Then you have a 220 line going out to your fuse box. That's it. Um, if this thing is running, the grid goes down, and I have it rigged up with plugs right here right now. But you can grab the end of that plug and all the prongs sticking out. You don't get shocked because there's an automatic disconnect switch in there that only lets the power go out. It won't back feed into the grid. You don't have to worry about shock and linemen or anything else, but it only goes one direction. All the disconnects are in there. Yes, you still need circuit breakers. You still need fuse box. 
Um, everything else is in there. I have one over here on the table I can show you that ain't hanging on the wall. Uh, this thing right here has a 60 amp MPPT charger built into it. Now you can get these things once you get above 5 kW systems. You can get a 40 amp charger. You can get a 60 amp charger. You can get two chargers put in it. This one has one at 12 kW system. I had two 60 amp chargers put into it. Um, you have dual feed in it. Uh, that 12 kW system, like I said, you can hook 56 panels to it. Uh, I'm reading off my notes trying to make sure I have everything. This is the one question everybody wants. Basically, this thing is, is built like a Swiss Army knife. You can get all kind of stuff into it. Like I said, it's got the generator start. They now have a smart load on it. So if you are generating 60 amps, your batteries are only taking 20 on the charge. You can take the other 40 and run a hot water heater or a heat bar. You have all kind of hookups for that. But a 3000 watt system is what we use to take a well pump off and that's giving you about 28 amps. Those run right now, basic unit and depends on how you want it is about $2,500. A 6,000 watt one is about $3,300. And this one here is putting out 50 amps. So if you have a large travel trailer, um, you know what a 50 amp plug is, that's what it deals with. The 12,000 watt one is putting out 100 amps. So if your house has 200 amp service, that's half the power of that house. If you're off grid, it'll pretty much run your house. Um, and then from there on, it's just how many panels you have that feeds it and how many batteries you have to store the power. So all the operating programs in this thing, and let me switch it on. And now I'm gonna try to, without making you sick, man, maybe I'll shut the camera off and try, well here, let's see if I can just, move in here a little bit on the screen all the systems in this thing all use this same program so you have I'm on here finger where am I at here it is right now I'm hooked to the grid it's going into the inverter and the batteries are charging and there's no load because of course it isn't hooked up and you would normally have PV panels right here hooked in that would show you how many volts and everything that's going into it. All of them are the same. Every single one of them all have the same operating program. There is a remote box that we will put on that 12KW system that the system's actually downstairs in the basement and basically it takes, the remote system is this whole box right here and it's upstairs on the wall so you don't have to go down and look at it. So now let me break you free from this thing. Something else I want to touch on for listener, Mr. Larry there in Northern Vermont, uh, lithium batteries. This thing here, these are made for lead acid batteries and gel and everything else. They make the same thing, but it takes a different unit. I got to know in advance if you want it for lithium batteries. For anybody interested, I have dealt with some that are used. Go to uh, bigbattery.com. They have 24 volt, 3KW used systems. All you gotta do is just plug them right in. They're $700, $699.99. They have 48 volt lithium ion batteries, a 3.8 kilowatt system for $1,100, $1,099.99. Like I said, this right here is your dry contact switch. If you have a remote start uh, inverter type generator, this right here is your 220 breakers. This is the out feed. This is your power coming out. 
This is the breaker for the power, the AC or grid or your generator power going in. And of course, positive and negative. And with this right here, if your generator is 30 amps, that's all you're going to get in the bypass mode. I mean, if you have a 50 amp system, you can't put 30 amps in and get 50 amps out. It don't work that way. Hook to the grid where you may be feeding it with 100 or 200 amps, then you get your full 50 amps out. Well, this is a different one. This is a 5KW220 system. Same thing, split phase, all copper. And Miss Lynn, if you're watching this, this is the one I'm going to put into your schoolie. This is going into a person that's converting a school bus into a camper. Now, this inverter, basically, once again, it's the same operating program in here, except this one right here is really made for boats, uh, RVs, in that this one does not have a charge controller in it. You have to have a separate charge controller. But what this does is, if your RV, boat, camping, trailer, whatever is sitting there, for three months this thing actually has a time clock in it and if i read the directions right this is every 110 hours it comes on discharges the battery charges it backs up so the batteries just aren't sitting there for months in float position which doesn't do them any good this right here is the remote port so you can have a remote uh, screen and display somewhere else positive negative it's got a fan on both sides. That's why it's better to mount these things in a compartment or closet because you do hear the fans running. And, of course, you have a ground hookup right here. This is your AC input. So this is hot one and two. So this is your two 110 lines that come in. In a boat or RV situation, it would be your shore power. It would be where it comes in from. And then, of course, you have your two hots and a neutral where it goes out, ground on the other end. But of course this one here, it has a built-in battery charger. So this is your battery uh, input protection switch. This is your inverter output breaker switch. And this is the output number two going out. So this thing is really made for kind of boats and RVs where it's gonna sit. Like I said, you have to buy a separate charger. Um, but this thing's kind of neat in that there is a desulfate mode. This is for lead acid batteries. Um, so that once, twice a year, you can cook them batteries and desulfate them. Well, I'm about out of time here on my allotment. And uh, we back up here. But like I said, get a hold of bigbattery.com if you're interested in a used system. They're currently, I just looked up, they're currently sold out of the 24 volt systems, but they'll get more in. I got a couple of them back in February, March. They were sold out in April because of the virus. May, they got them back in. We got a couple more. Uh, they are used. It's a pretty good deal. You can't get that much power anywhere else. But no matter what your system is, there's somebody out there that makes it. I like these systems. We've been using them for years. We've never had a problem with them so far, knock on wood. Nothing's perfect. But if I can help you out, just contact me. My email's down the bottom. I have a problem being I live here in the middle of nowhere in the mountains trying to get to the video, trying to get uh, email and get it out. So I get Gmail a whole lot faster if you contact me on Gmail. I do appreciate the comments, though. That, that helps me with the standings of YouTube, so I kind of got to get comments, too. But if you want an answer, you want to get prices, and let me know your condition and, and your situation, please contact me on Gmail. But as usual, like it, share it, subscribe, tell your friends about it. I'll see you the next time.